AP Stats Helpful Hints for chapter number three. Helpful Hints. There'll be a multiple choice question about R, correlation coefficient. Please remember that R has no units, liters, uh, feet, miles per gallon, can't happen. All the numbers have to be between negative one and one, and it has to be between two sets of numbers, two quantitative values. You cannot find the correlation between gender and height. Does not happen. Can't find it between, oh, what position in basketball you play versus your score on an AP stat says it has to be between two sets of numbers. R squared, you'll have one point that you will get if you can remember this. I'll say interpret R squared in context. It is the percent of variation in Y that can be explained by the least squares regression line. So if R squared turned out to be 60%, make sure that you put 60% here and then you copy it out in the sentence. Don't forget to replace Y with what it actually is in context. Residual plot. Okay, I might make you do a residual plot, but maybe I just give it to you. I might say, here's a residual plot. What can we learn from it? If a residual plot has a curve, okay, curves up, curves down, some other type of pattern, it means it's definitely 100% not a line. If it's all scattered, it is a line. AP test question help. Okay, so it'll be one from chapter two, normal distributions. There'll be a question on there and it'll say, is this a normal curve? We haven't done something like that, but I, I don't think it's terribly hard. Okay, if they give you like a mean in a standard deviation, is it normal? Well, remember that if we go not just one standard deviation way, but the normal curve, you need to go two standard deviations away to get 95%. So it better be normally distributed. I should be able to go out at least two standard deviations, maybe three, but at least two standard deviations to be considered a normal curve. If I can only go one standard deviation away and that's it, then it's not a normal curve. That might be kind of a hard question, but maybe you have a shot at it. You need to know what a z-score is, okay? Let's suppose I calculate a z-score, okay? And it turns out to be negative two. You need to tell AP what negative two means if it's a z-score. It means that if it's negative, it's below the mean. If it's positive, it's above the mean. And this means how many standard deviations away from the mean something is. So if it says, interpret a z-score, you would say, this is two standard deviations below the average. That's not too difficult. That will get you an easy point on the AP test. If something is not normal, you can still compare z-scores. So show your work. Compare z-scores and say which one is better. Which one is better by comparing z-scores. Okay? You can still do it even if it's not normal. I don't think that part should be terribly difficult. I think you can do that. You can compare z-scores. So that's some helpful hints and uh, your AP test type questions. Good luck on your test on Tuesday.